showcasing the making of Bruised, produced and directed by Haley Berry, is now available exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. And we go right into the second bout of the evening with Alessandro Muckerruder against Anas Hamdaoui. Fantastic. Wow. Great striking matchup between the two. Right away exchanging shots. Great inside leg kick from Andawi. Looking for the hooks. Good uppercut on the break. And Luca, a complete contrast to the first matchup, which started off the first two rounds on the ground. This time, these two fighters are actually standing up and actually trying to, you know, try to enjoy themselves standing up before they go on the ground. As they say in the old school Thai culture, they stand and bang. <laughs> Looking fantastic. For two new school athletes, it's a very old school approach, but it's always great to watch. And the energy they both brought in the first minute of the first round was really, really showing that they both want this fight. Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, you know, you have uh, Anas Hamdi, um, pretty much a veteran, I would say, in the amateur circuit, seven and four. Uh, so he's, he's, you know, he's, he's done a lot of time inside the cage in comparison to um, Alessandro, who looks like, you know, four, one and one, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. We see this. Hamdawi has a slight advantage on the experience. Mm. Now Alessandro is doing a great job, you know, and at, at the moment we're going to still have to see what comes out of this fight. Right now they're both standing each other off very well, both bringing some, some shots and taking some. So, you know, we're going to see how it goes. Oh. However, wow, I must say Hamdawi's energy right now is fantastic as well. Yeah. It's very, very dominant energy. Absolutely. And that was a clear right hook straight to the face. I don't, I don't think Mukaruda was actually able to dodge that, but he's still standing and that's a Good great, job. great job there from and last again. Time. He's really connecting with that left jab. Great distance management. Yeah. Very good distance management. He's reading the fight really well. Both fighters really oh, look good. like they're in tremendous good. shape. Fantastic. You know, also, as soon as he connects, he's also looking for that low leg kip, switching it up, going high and low, doing a fantastic inside, outside, doing a great job with the striking right now from Hamadawi. Absolutely. 30 seconds or near 30 seconds left in the opening round with these two fighters who have not gone to ground just yet. Great to see our amateur standing up and actually going back blow from blow. Look at that. It's fantastic to watch these amateurs, eh? Yeah. Good job. Great, great distance management, I must say. It's a very, very good fight. He's in the pocket, escapes and exchanges right back. 10 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, just Hamdawi just doesn't have to make a mistake in order to take this first round. Good work, good sportsmanship between the two fighters. Absolutely, Hamdawi takes the first round. The more dominant fighter, connected with more scoring shots. And like I said, great to see both fighters stand up and actually, you know, show us what their striking game is all about. Absolutely. The Etel brothers in Anas Hamdawi's corner right now. Developing the movement of most of the Austrian young MMA talents right now. Doing a great job. Absolutely. And also, you know, they are they are the um, the pioneers of the Outmouth, you know, which has grown from strength to strength, and they're now in the international scene and in the International MMA Federation. Uh, great to see, great to see the Etel Brothers Champions Jim. Fighter Anas Hamdawi put on a fantastic display in the first round. Fabulous. But I'm telling you what, I think Alessandro is ready to jump right into the second round. Well, let's go into the second round. He looks determined. Let's go into the second round. Let's have a look on how both fighters are going to take this second round. Are they going to keep it a striking matchup or are they going to try and switch it up? Mm. Will Mukenruder look for a different approach in order to gain some advantage on Hamdawi? Good low kick. Very good work. He's very explosive, Hamdawi, eh? Very, very sharp on the kicks. 
It is actually a classic signature of the Etto Brothers and the Etto Brothers Championship, Jim. You will see, you know, in the later matchups, you will see, you know, Florian Abager, you will see Bogdan Grad, our main event. They will they will absolutely display their striking games. And this is really shown in the pedigree Ooh. here of Hamdawi. Absolutely, absolutely. I must say also, the athletes coming out of that gym, wow, hey, these guys are just putting on a show. It's fantastic to watch them, eh? It's good to absolutely. watch them spinning it's back fists. It's exciting. It takes guts to do this stuff when you're, you know, when you're in, in, in the beginning of your career and to have the confidence to throw a spinning back fist and spinning back kicks. Absolutely. Good uppercut from Luka Ruder. Mukuroda looking a little bit tired, to be honest. Try to go for a takedown, but excellently defended by Hamdawi. Ooh, good knee to the body from Hamdawi. Mukuroda trying to break out of there. Good job from Hamdawi. He's doing a great work. He's doing exactly what he has to do. Calm and explode. And now he tries to take the takedown. Great work. Great work. Take him back to the cage. Work for the takedown. And now from here, he can keep on working on for this Absolutely. round. Absolutely. Textbook, couple of strikes, takedown in the clinch, straight down to the mat. Okay, okay. Mukuruda looking for rubber guard. This is a classic 10th planet type of guard that we can see from the States. Pioneered from Eddie Bravo and all his lads. They use it a lot over there. However, it's a very risky move because it's, it's very dangerous. You have to be very, very flexible in order to finish this. And if Hamdawi explodes up, it could also, yeah, risk a little, be a, a large risk for Mukuruda. And so far, However, it looks like he's got that under control. It helps him control him down. However, from here, it's very difficult for him to be able to work at the moment unless he's able to take his foot on the other side of Hamdawi's face. Then from there, he'd be able to have a lot of control and work for some very dangerous submissions. And what submission would he be looking for if he was able to get his that left foot, that right foot, should I say, across his face right now? Well, there's several interesting things that he could do, but probably he could go for a gogo -go plata, which is a traditional 10th planet type of move. It's basically uh, a windpipe choke working with the front of his shin. However, it's going to be very difficult to finish this now. And that's the end of round number two. W Luca, what are your thoughts so far? We gave the first round to Hamdawi. Second round? Second round, Hamdawi. He did a fantastic job, to be honest. He's really behaving great. He's striking, he's exploding, but he's not overcommitting. He hits, and then he takes a step back just when Mukurunder is going to try and strike back. So he's doing a fantastic, fantastic work, to be yeah. honest. Looks well, like his, his, you know, the coaching team is, you know, is doing a phenomenal job of keeping him focused, keeping him ready, and keeping him on, you know, you know, on point on the mission of what he has to achieve today. So far, two rounds, you know, to Hamdawi. Absolutely, fantastic. And he's smiling in his corner. This means he's definitely in the right mindset. Feels confident. He's listening to his team. Feels confident. But what could, what could uh, uh, Mukaruda do right now to take this? I mean, he has to go for submission. It has to be you know, either lights out or submission. Yeah, Mukaruda is going to have to enter this round guns blazing mm. or with a different game plan in order to really either have an absolutely dominant round or look for that finish. Mm. Round number three, here still, we go. Still smiles between the fighters, I, I must say. I always love this, especially in the amateur scene. I don't like the bad blood. This is great, you know? That's, that's what it's all about. It's all about the sportsmanship. 100%. I mean, you know, these guys, they share the same dream. You know, they're in there together sharing the same dream. It's fantastic. Third and final round on the way. And they're still standing up. They haven't, they haven't really, we haven't seen really much in the way of ground game, which is actually, again, phenomenal to see that, you know, uh, that amateur fighters are willing to stand up and display their striking prowess. Absolutely, absolutely. And I must say, Hamdawi, even though he won the first two rounds, he is looking like he's trying to get a finish here. He's thrown some very, very dangerous combinations. And yeah, that's absolutely great to see, and you're right, Luca, because what that means is that he does not want to leave any uncertainty on, you know, in the judges' minds about who's winning this bout. Absolutely. And as you can see, actually, what's happening is he's got a dominant body language, dominant attitude, controlling the center of the cage, keeping Mukuruda on his back foot in order to be able to control his movement and always manage his distance if Mukuruda were to decide to bounce back. Absolutely, but let's, but let's not, you know, let's not ride out Mukaruda just yet. He is, he is doing, you know, he is still in there, 
And Absolutely. he just needs to up his energy, up his game, and you never know. Any, this is the MMA game. Anything can happen in this last minute and a half. Absolutely. And he's doing a great job because at the moment, he's facing an opponent that he's not been able yet to crack. But he's staying there, he's blocking, he's surviving, he's maintaining his distance. So to be honest with you, sometimes you need some time to think. Mm. But he hasn't got long left. He does not have long left, but that's part of the game, you know? Yeah. I once heard somebody call MMA like playing a game of chess while running uphill. Oh, what a great strike. Great, great right hook from Muka, uh, from Hamdawi, followed up with a, with a leg kick and back onto the hook again. Amazing. Fantastic. He's definitely not giving Mukaruda a chance no space. at all. No space. At the moment, I believe that the only attempt Mukaruda would have to be able to finish this fight would be to try a flurry or Hamdawi overcommitting. But I'm very convinced this is going to be a very unanimous and one-way fight. It has to be. First two rounds to Hamdawi looks like the third round is also to Hamdawi as well. Great display of striking game from these two ah, fighters. See, Mukaruda's still there though, eh? He's, he's still there fighting. Now Hamdawi doing great control. Is he going to try and get a takedown? He's got the back. Fantastic. Fantastic work. He's got the back. A bit of ground and pound. He's got to watch out not to take the back of the fed. Take the control of the back. Mukuruda to his knees. Left. Watch the back of the head. Okay. Five seconds to go. Big deep breath by Mukuruda. And that's it. And that's it. Game is over. Three rounds to Hamdawi. Absolutely, absolutely. Must say, fantastic display of striking here from Hamdawi. I believe we're aware of where the judge's decision is going to be, but for sure we're going to see if, we're, if we've been correct at the end of this with the judge's decision by our own Buddy Johnson. Hamdawi going to Mukuruda at the moment. Both fighters hugging each other. Fantastic display of sportsmanship. We now go to our judge's decision with Buddy Johnson entering the cage. Both fighters coming out with a smile, though, looking absolutely fantastic. It's great to see this. You know, it's definitely a learning point for both of them. Hamdawi looking very happy, very happy with his performance. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for both fighters this evening. Come on! Looks like the crowd is enjoying the show. Three explosive rounds, and we go to your judges who scored about 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Anas Hamdawi!